Well, good morning and welcome back to City Line with me. I have two amazing individuals who are here to talk about uh, some upcoming events for our precious emergency food network. Uh, if you caught the first segment, we talked with uh, uh, Festivals Inc. about the Taste of Tacoma and about some of the proceeds that go to the Emergency Food Network. So now we have the other half here in the studio. So please join me in welcoming Michelle Douglas. You are the Deputy Director of the Emergency Food Network. Welcome back, my dear. Thank you for having us. Good to see you and congratulations. Most recently, you're newly married mm -hmm. and I am so, so happy for you. Thank you. Um, it's just a lovely thing to see. Um, Elizabeth Howe, hello, my dear. Good it's good. To see you I don't get to see you enough. <laughs> um, I keep saying, bring all three of you on, being Helen as the other third mm -hmm. here. You are the Development Director for Emergency Food Network, um, and thank you for taking time out of your very busy day, because you have a lot of events here coming up that we're going to talk about. <laughs> so first off, um, let's... Um, let me turn the page here because my fingers are just a little bit sticky. Here we go. So let's talk about Michelle. Um, around year around, I think especially during the uh, school year, we are always thinking about food because the weather is cold, it's rainy, mm -hmm. and we just kind of maybe we're more hungry. So we think about those who go without. Mm -hmm. But there is an important need to be involved in this summertime. And can you explain that to us? Mm -hmm. Sure, absolutely. So um, when we think about it, in Pierce County, 59,000 kids are on free and reduced lunch and breakfast. Mm -hmm. And so during the school year, they're having some of their basic needs met um, at least Monday through Friday in the class. Classroom. But as soon as we hit June, uh, school lets out. And while some kids are able to go to summer meal programs, and we do a lot to support those summer meal programs like Food Connection and, and other groups that are running those, um, for a lot of kids, their families need to go to the food pantry more often yes. because their SNAP benefits only go so far, um, and they just they don't have enough to get through the week. Um, so unfortunately it coincides with the lowest time of donation in the year yes. as well so when you spoke about how people are are motivated to give and they think about giving mm -hmm. which is wonderful and we're deeply appreciative um, that really happens around the, the Christmas season of right course. and so but we have this huge need that starts every June and just goes right through August. Yes. Um, so we are trying to meet that need, and um, it just means that we are trying to get more creative all the time, get the word out, and get talk to people and connect with them on how to help us feed our neighbors yeah. in need. I view summer so differently uh, since I uh, have learned so much from the Emergency Food Network. Um, you know, now I look at those 59,000 kids and as I see them in our parks and I see them, you know, um, in our community, I think, have they, have they had a meal? Mm -hmm. Where are they in this? I don't think so much about through the lens of my childhood of, oh, it's time to go barefoot anymore because that's not a reality, I think, that those children think about. So what are those upcoming events in the community that we can participate in to end hunger? So we have just some incredible opportunities. Yeah. So coming right up, we have Casino Royale, which is um, put on by our ambassador board. So our ambassador board are um, more professionals that are first time to a board and um, sometimes a little bit younger um, and they're just so motivated and dynamic and they put on a fundraiser every year called Casino Royale where you gamble and you have snacks and you yeah, have cocktails yeah. and um, you raise money for an awesome cause. It's really fun. You can get your tickets at our website. Um, it's going to be on Saturday the 16th. Uh, and it's just this great opportunity to hang out in community and raise money for EFN. We also have Taste of Tacoma coming up. Yes. Um, you know, so a, a portion of uh, every ticket for the South Sun Bites goes to EFN. And then there's also additional opportunities to give when you're there. Um, and then uh, throughout the summer, we just have opportunities. So you can come out and you can volunteer at our farm. We are growing amazing vegetables and amazing weeds right now. So there's just, they <laughs> so go hand help in picking hand. both. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> uh, and then we have our repacks going on. And then I know Elizabeth's going to talk a little bit about our Give a Gallon yeah. campaign. So Elizabeth, what is Give a Gallon? Give a Gallon is a new program that we just started. And it was actually first started by the Washington State Dairy Council. Mm. And so how community members can support this is 
they can go into one of the five grocery stores that are participating and they just head straight down to the milk aisle and get a coupon. And then they take that coupon and they go to the cashier and then that's how they can purchase a gallon of milk for us. So at the end of June, uh, each of the five grocery stores will present EFN with a check and then we take that money and buy milk for our 71 different partner programs. It's a oh. really wonderful program that we're hoping to grow. Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm getting a little teary over here because uh, I love our grocery stores in the area. They are so uh, supportive. They are so supportive. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm going to step out and say one of my favorite ones, and everybody knows this about me, is Stadium Thriftway. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amazing going, partners. I've been going us. to it for 24 years. I know the checkers. I know their children. It's just like old home week for yeah. me. And every chance I get, I shop there because I, I feel like I'm supporting those families. So mm -hmm. the, I'm going to go there today, actually, and get, oh, get some stuff after this. Um, so you can buy two gallons of milk. Yeah. <laughs> well, two. Let, let's go for four because I may not be back next week. But, but this is the deal. I love that you have hooked up with them. And we have Harbor Greens in the UP, North Tacoma Grocery Outlet, South Tacoma Grocery Outlet, Lakewood Grocery Outlet. So huge thank you to all of them. Because yeah. dairy is huge. Mm -hmm. Dairy is huge. It's not in the traditional pantry. Mm -hmm. So actually, Michelle, let's talk about why milk is important mm -hmm. and why it's not there. Yeah. So dairy is one of those things. We just started, we have a co-op buying program where we have regular products that we buy that our food pantries can count on. So as Elizabeth said, those 71 food pantries and meal sites know that they'll have that food. But we've never had dairy be part of that. because. Dairy is incredibly expensive, yes. and also dairy is very rarely donated. It's a commodity, and it's controlled, mm -hmm. and it's just it's not something that we're able to get donated. So in October, we made the commitment that we're going to start providing milk every month, um, and we've been growing that uh, that that purchase so that we have more milk to give out to our partners. But I mean, I'm going to be honest with you, Amanda, it's a little bit scary. Our dairy bill is almost $10,000 a month. So just alone, you know, in, in, incorporated with trying to provide the other yes. things that we're giving out, uh, dairy is a big commitment for us. Yeah. And so when the Dairy Council came on with us and said, we want to support you on this and we're excited that you're, you're going to be giving milk, it's just this excellent opportunity. We get a lot of product like cereal and mm -hmm. things donated, but What's cereal, What's cereal without, without milk, milk? Right, it's a little bit sad. Yeah. And, um, so, and this is also when we talk about kids. You milk. know, even the smallest kid can usually pour a glass of milk, or they can yeah. pick up their sippy cup that's full of milk. Right. And it's a good protein. That's it's right. healthy food. Um, and kids need more of it. Yeah. Regardless so. of what your views are on dairy, calcium is huge for growing bones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. So. It's a good protein. Yes. It's just, it's fast. It doesn't have to be cooked. You yeah. know, there's, I can yeah. go on and yeah. on and on. Yes. All right. Love that. So I want to um, go to one of the things I think that uh, is so genius you've done in many ways is that ambassador board because that is such a uh, growing ground for people, as you said, who have never been on a board mm -hmm. before. Before. So how did this start, Elizabeth? So the ambassador board started about five years ago and we realized that we had a group of young professionals who wanted to be more involved and we wanted to find a way to get them more involved with EFN. Yes. And so it's been five years now. So Casino Royale is their event that they host. They totally own. They sell tickets. They procure raffle items. They get in-kind donations. They really run the event um, and what's so exciting is since they started this event uh, it's now raised a little over seventy thousand dollars for EFN. Wow. So we're so proud of them and the work that they do for us and how passionate they are about raising awareness for hunger in the community. Unbelievable. It and, really and, is. and they can mm -hmm. people can go to their your website and see if they want to mm -hmm. yes. find out more or also think about joining that mm -hmm. board if we want them to. Let's move to the Taste of Tacoma. This is the second year. Tell us about Michelle's involvement there. So this is a great opportunity. Um, you know, you had taste on earlier in the uh, in the program and they're doing great work um, in spotlighting things that are happening here in the South Sound. So, you know, South Sound restaurants and they came to us with this opportunity to be part of their South Sound Bites, which is just a uh, chance to have five different food from five different spots. Fabulous and, you chefs. Know, you walk yeah. away full and you're excited. And um, tickets are $17 and a, and a portion of that goes back to Emergency Food Network. And then we're also on site. So we do the busing. Um, we hand out the water. Uh, we do all of those kind of like, you know, things yeah. that keep a yeah. little event going like that. And exactly. so, <coughs> excuse me, um, that's been a great opportunity and a new way for more people to learn about EFN. And we have also breaking hun hunger in this last few minutes and wine and weeding. I love, what's, what's the wine and weeding? <laughs> 
<coughs> excuse me. Um, so wine and weeding, um, as we talked about, we're very good at growing weeds out on our Mother Earth farm. And wine and weeding is just an opportunity to taste Washington wines. Um, this year, I believe we're tasting Washington against France. Um, Way to go. And yeah, and this is put on um, in conjunction with our friends over at um, PLU. And it's just a great opportunity to go out, taste some wine, and then also pull weeds and help out your neighbors <laughs> in need. So um, this is an invitation event. And so if you want an invitation, you should reach out to us we'd love to have you there um, we also do brewers night so we do um, beer and weeding as well nice. um, and then uh, I think that um, breaking hunger is an interesting fantastic event that we do and that's basically a trap shooting event um, what our director I love to trap yeah, shoot our director is from uh, Idaho and um, she is a dynamic shot as well and um, there's just this opportunity. Teams come together from different businesses, individuals. It sounds like you. How did have I a not know about that. this? Yeah, and we're it's really in partnership with the Gig Harbor Sportsman's Club, and they've been amazing allies and partners on this. Okay, you know, you okay. can have a team. Okay, yeah. um, no, <laughs> you I can buy a I team. I want to be on someone's <laughs> team. I just want to show up, and you go, go stand over there and wait your turn to shoot. Okay. Oh my God. Well, well, genius. we will look at you for the community team. I yeah. love yeah. that. It's just also it's a great entryville opportunity. I. I think it's just, we are always looking at how do we expand our right. reach and how do we pay, yes. interest people? Yeah, you because, know. you know, as we close here, EFN has taught me this and they continue to walk it every single day. Hunger exists, as I said, because we allow it to. So um, if everybody had on their mind just for today, how am I going to give back to EFN? Or what do I have in my trunk? I always carry peanut butter. I tell this all the time because Helen taught me this. Mm -hmm. um, so there, there is an ongoing legacy that you provide light on that path for um, by these programs so we can effortlessly have fun. Look over there. And we can go, and I can also solve hunger. It doesn't get any better than that. So. Everybody can impact hunger today. That's right, today. Every one of us can have yes. a hand in it. Thank you so much for being here. I love having you on at least once a month, if not more, but I'm <laughs> selfish and greedy like that. And um, thank you for your team that doesn't fit on the couch that, and all the work that goes into these events. It is endless because you're already working on events for fall right now. I know you are. So thank you so much for your huge hearts and your sharp minds. Thanks for having us. You're yes, welcome. You. And I'll see you back on the couch soon. Okay. okay. All right. Well, these two lovelies are going to exit and go back out there and work on some more programs to solve hunger. And then Kim Archer is going to make her way into the studio. You don't want to miss that. We'll be right back.